coming through these giant metal doors with studded inserts, you can see exactly why that saying, your home is your castle, rings so true when it comes to a home like this. Here I am standing on a bridge over a gigantic koi pond with frameless glass doors in front of me, and that leads right into this five bedroom, eight bathroom, 2,000 900 square meter home that without a doubt justifies the price tag of 22 million rand. We're right here in the heart of Bedford View. My name is Chad Viveros. This is the show that takes you around South Africa's most exclusive, most interesting, and occasionally most expensive homes. Join me as we tour this Balinese inspired mansion. I don't think you want to miss this out. Let's take a look. Coming through those frameless glass doors, you're provided with a multitude of options and a sensory overload of absolute beauty. As I mentioned, the whole house is Balinese inspired and the architect of this home is none other than the famed George de Haas who designed the whole home and all of the furniture in it does come with this home. Buying this home is almost buying a ready meal. Everything comes exactly how you'd want it to and you're ready to experience it off the bat. But a home like this is a ready meal that I'd have to say was cooked up by Gordon Ramsay himself because this is the utmost exclusive. This is the Michelin stars of homes and we have to start with this outside area. It's the first thing your eyes see and it is absolutely massive. Above us we've got a reed ceiling with beautiful wood run-throughs just accentuating how special every detail of this home is. As I mentioned tons of space here and the furniture really does match it being extra large very comfy and taking up the space not having it feel crowded but very very functional and functional is another term you'll hear me use quite often throughout the home. We've got both a sitting area as well as dining area, 10 seater dining room table almost being dwarfed by this. And what kind of South African home, regardless of who the architect or what design this is, would be fit without an outdoor braai. And then coming right off this patio, we find ourselves stepping onto lush green garden, stunning trees that really do fit the design of the home. And behind me, take a look at this pool massive lap pool, tons of water features, which is another element that you see very, very often in this home. We've got water features coming through the rampart right into the home. We've got water features outside the office, and obviously we've got water features right behind me. But we've wrapped up the outdoor area. We're gonna throw some overlays of drone footage. We're gonna let you explore this area because it also does have an outdoor LARPA. It also does have a steam room with sound system built right into it and obviously no outdoor LARPA and steam room is fit without the bathroom that is fully kitted out for all your needs. So when you're outdoors, you're taking care of outdoors. There's also space around the house for a jungle gym, a kids play area that wraps all the way back to the kitchen. And talking about a kitchen, I think it's time we slowly make our journey towards that kitchen right now. Now walking back into the home, it becomes immediately apparent as to why it's so amazing that this home comes fully furnished is because each piece of furniture was hand-picked to suit the design style of this home. And it is an incredible design style. Right now, we're in the main TV room area, all around me, windows letting in that natural light, super high ceilings, and again, a staple of high-class homes are those speakers in the ceiling. We've got reed blinds, again, suiting the design style. Beautiful wood uh, backboard design board, feature wall, whatever we'd like to call it, framing the TV. Below it, 
fireplace, wood fireplace as well, as you can see. And it's one of those fully enclosed, smokeless fireplaces. So you chuck your wood in on a cold winter night, close it up, get that beautiful radiating warmth, have that visual effect of a fireplace, but not have any of the smell afterwards. I think a lot of people who do own open fireplaces can sympathize with just how that might get you down in the morning. Right here we are at the kitchen dining room table with the kitchen being on my left. Stunning feature ceiling this time with beautiful LED backlights. So much space and this dining room table is incredible wood. Solid, really must be nice to sit down here and enjoy a meal with your family. On my right hand side, a small outdoor area that let's show you in some cutaways that wraps around the back of the garden. Again, with uh, one of the coolest features I think of all homes and that is your water features. The home showcasing industry right here. We are in the kitchen and a killer kitchen this is. We've got again, beautiful Balinese inspired cupboard space, melee appliances throughout your kitchen, your microwave, your coffee machine. And I love my coffee. Beautiful gas burner, also melee. Your extractor fan melee and your other oven melee. And then we've got a centerpiece of your kitchen. Obviously, or generally, it's your prep sink. We love them, but take a look at this. An epic centerpiece framed by the LED lighting in the ceiling. Really think this is a cool piece. But if you don't want it, obviously you can move it somewhere else. Maybe move it outside. Maybe move it somewhere within the areas where people can sit and appreciate it and use the center island as a prep island. But this isn't the only space in the kitchen because we also have your full-on pantry. Let's take a look at that and then let's come out and wrap up the rest of the living space. Now your scullery area is all about utilizing space correctly. You've got fridge space to the left and double appliance space on the right. And then you can see more space for a double fridge as well as a double sink and then access to your outside area straight from the scullery. Now we've shown you where you cook the food and you think you've seen where you eat the food but not in this house because not only have we got an informal dining room area, we have got the formal dining room area and this one pulls out all the stops. On this side, you've got this beautiful outdoor area again with a water feature. This house is not complete without a water feature above us. Stunning roof piece again with those speakers in the ceiling. And then in front of me right here, Wall-to-wall -wall glass, again, with a door that opens out onto that stunning koi pond that we saw at the entrance. So when you sit down here and your guests are laid out in front of your incredible table, you get to come here and say, dinner is served. Doesn't that make you feel special? But the home is still not complete. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run all the way across past this pond. You guys get to have another incredible view of it. Come to one of my favorite pieces because it is a piece you see as soon as you walk in the home and that is one more bell. Beautiful brass bell with that, uh, what do they call it? I don't want to say tarnish, patina. It's got a beautiful green patina. It really is a statement piece. And it does make a statement because you first come through those incredible double doors. You see this bell and then you're greeted by that view. You know you're living the high life. So I'm crossing thumbs that we're all going to be living that life together very soon. Private property, I'm crossing my fingers. Now, before we head off to the offices and the bar area, let me just mention that all the lights in the home are controlled via these touch sensitive switches. No normal switches here only touch sensitive ones. Now on my right hand side, one of my favorite areas. I can't say it is the favorite area, but it's most certainly one of my favorite areas. Generally, this is a, it contains the wine. I got so excited about wine, I started making mistakes. But again, lots of space, beautiful, beautiful, earthy colored flooring. And talking about the flooring, the whole house has got underfloor heating, which is incredible, specifically for a home like this. The glass doors open up to your outdoor area, so if you are serving from the bar, you can head outside, no problem. And then again, something that, I mean, this is killer. Take a look at that. Come on, guys, imagine how incredible it must be to sit down here 
and showcase just how stunning your home is. Then talking about a bar, huge bar, Caesar stone countertop, beautiful wood inserts behind a TV, plenty of cupboard space for you to store all your liquor. And if I'm coming to review your house, you're definitely gonna have to be storing that liquor somewhere away from me. Now, leaving the bar behind as much as it pains me, off to my left is your first guest bathroom, and then just a little bit to the right of that guest bathroom, you'll find your four-car garage. And then left and right here are your two offices, and right in the middle is another guest bathroom servicing these offices. Let's take a look at the first office. Now, these two offices are twins of one another, natural wood and Lentiful space dominates both areas. One of these offices has access through sliding doors to the garden, but these both make perfect areas for you to conduct all your business meetings with large desks, as well as space for TVs built in. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are off to my favorite part of this home. And it's a two-part favorite part. One is, take a look at how stunning the staircase is. I love how every single element of this home just screams Balinese, screams design, continuation, and really does never make you forget that this home was designed by a world-renowned architect. But here it is, my favorite room. This is your downstairs wine cellar, but the owners were forewarned that I was coming, so they cleaned it out. They don't want to leave any wine here for me to pilfer, which unfortunately I'm very upset about. TV built in, stunning arched ceiling with all this incredible lighting, hitting the ceiling, curving around, really making you feel like you're in a place that you can sit down, enjoy a glass of wine, enjoy a warm, maybe a hearty stew, watch some TV and without a doubt, light up a cigar and relive all your successes, all of our successes. So we're going to be having this soon. And before we leave this downstairs area, I just want to mention that it comes fully equipped with your very own bar with inbuilt fridges. And now we've heard whatever goes up must come down, but in the case of this home, whatever goes down must go up. And now it is time to take a look at what the top floor of a 22 million rand home in Bedford View looks like. Coming up on this last set of stairs, I don't know what to mention more, either the stunning floor of the stairs, this wood, or this incredible chandelier hanging essentially three stories off of the floor, but here we are. Now for everybody who's got security at the top of mind, I'd like you to know that there is this hefty metal security gate right here separating all of your sleeping quarters off from the rest of the house and then over here is a piece of glass again making sure this part of the home can be self-contained when need be now we pass another beautiful wood bridge off to the four bedrooms that are located upstairs now let's talk about these three bedrooms out of the four located on this wing of the house first. As you can see, I'm standing in what is currently done as both a pajama lounge as well as office area. Balinese culture is definitely centered around communal living and you'll see that right here in how all of the bedrooms open up onto this beautiful cozy area that is your pajama lounge. Let's start on the bedroom on my right, the first bedroom, we'll head off to the second bedroom and then the last one right in front of me and then we can head back that way to show you two of the best designed bedrooms I've seen in a very long time. Your first bedroom is absolutely beautifully equipped with this stunning feature wall with recessed LED lighting. Like the rest of this house, this bedroom is massive with more than enough space for you to get changed, relax and lounge about. You've got a full wall of windows looking down onto a stunning water feature. Then when it comes to bathrooms, you've got an ensuite bathroom with not only a freestanding and stunning bathtub, but you've got this single vanity that absolutely dominates the space as almost an art piece. Off to the left-hand side, you've got your shower right there, glass and clad, and then rainfall shower head right there ready for you. Massage parlor and 
I think we could all use one of these in our homes. One side of the room has sliding doors that open up onto the back of the garden, again, giving you views of your beautiful water features. And on the other wall, again, three windows letting in a lot of sunlight and green doors providing you privacy when you need it. And now for bathroom and bedroom number three. Here we are on my right hand side, you've got your ensuite bathroom, comes with a freestanding bathtub, beautiful single vanity toilet as well as walk-in shower with so much light cruising in from the garden area. Behind me you've got a place to display your fancy shoes. You've got some Louboutins, you're gonna throw them up on there. Everybody can be very envious if they're not envious enough of the home that you're living in. And then wall to wall, almost to the door, you've got these incredible cupboards. And I don't think there'd ever be a day in my life where I'd say cupboards are incredible, but look at the design work in here. Recessed openings for you to pull the cupboard open. Beautiful bamboo. And then these out, oh, outward facing openings. When I say outward facing openings, just making each little bit look special and turning cupboards into a bit of artwork, I'd have to admit. As you can see, so much space here. We've got a four-poster bed that fits in incredibly easy, but what makes this room stand out the most isn't the fact that it's got access to central air conditioning, isn't the fact that it's got incredible cupboards behind me, isn't the fact that there's this oh-so-fancy chandelier hanging up from the ceiling. What makes it so special are these two doors that open outwards onto your very own private and exceptionally large balcony. Take a look at how much space you've got out here to relax, put some of those hanging pod chairs, swing back and forth while enjoying a good book and listening to the sound of those water features, taking in that beautiful grassland and really just enjoying your life. Doesn't that make you want to enjoy your life? It makes me want to enjoy my life. When you're in the garden area looking at this house, it really does take your breath away. And if you're spending 22 million, it better take your breath away. And now we're off to the creme de la creme. All of our longtime viewers know it, have heard it, and they know what's coming next. It is the master suite, and no master suite is complete without not one, but two doors that open inwards into this incredible area. We've got not only one of the biggest four poster beds I've ever seen, we've also got this stunning solid wood TV console, TV above it, the bed, Oh no, it's not against the wall. It's in the middle of the room. That's how big this area is. Now, maybe you've woken up in the morning. Maybe you've made yourself a beautiful cup of coffee from that Melee coffee machine downstairs. And you want to come down onto your very own private balcony. You want to jump onto this stunning, again, true to the design, rocking chair. You want to put your cup of coffee on here. And you want to rock while enjoying this stunning view. Well, you're in luck because you can do it because this master suite comes with its own balcony as well as ensuite bathroom and it's time to take a look at that. And now it's time for, and I wouldn't have said this before, but possibly my favorite. It might have even trumped that wine cellar downstairs, and that is this insane bathroom. Gigantic mirrors, speakers in the ceiling, because who wouldn't want to listen to some music while you sit here and relax in this bath? A raised bath taking up the center of this bathroom, and not just any bath, a jacuzzi bath that comes with pretty much every single jet you'd ever need. And people who know me personally know how much I love me a jacuzzi. Above it, you've got this massive chandelier, again with some wrought iron detailing on the outside. And then behind me, maybe you don't want a bath. Maybe you want to rather enjoy an extra large, extra length, extra tall shower 
glass on all sides, letting you enjoy another very, very important part of this, and that is your outdoor area, both complete with gong, and on those blistering hot days, an outdoor shower with not one, but two heads, so both you and your partner can enjoy getting stalkers and getting into those outdoor showers, bamboo reeds all around you, making sure you've still got your privacy, and we've spoken about your walk-in closets before, and here it is, a walk-in closet so big, I can walk backwards, as well as disappear around a wall. You've got so much space all over for you to both hang, stack, store, hide, as well as get dressed, because right over here, mirror, lighting, and countertop for you to do everything you need. But that completes this home, which leaves us one last thing, and that's to talk about how you can become its next owner. Let's head downstairs, and let's get to the business end of this interview. And that concludes our walk around tour of this incredible home right here in Bedford View. If you would like to purchase this home, if you know someone looking to live in the lap of luxury, and that is Balinese luxury, you can see I'm flanked by my two loyal hounds or possibly dragons. Maybe somebody in the comments can let me know. What I'd like you to do is contact the incredible estate agents at We Trade Property. All of their details will not only be on screen right now, but also in the description of this video. And I think you're gonna to have to get this one fast because there are not a lot of homes on the market that look anything close to this. But that is it from myself, Chad Rivera, the team at Private Property and everybody involved in making this video. Thank you so much for sitting down, enjoying yourself and taking the time to take a look at this home with us. We're gonna see you again soon. Lots of love and goodbye.